and welcome to a new video. How's everyone doing today? I hope you guys are all doing fantastic. I'm here today with a handbag or a leather wallet cleaning video. <laughs> and if you guys saw the video from when I um, got and unboxed this in the mail, I will have it linked up there or down below in the description box. Um, but first of all, if you guys love like designer luxury, um, thrifting, um, home decor, food, vlogs, all that fun stuff. Do not forget to subscribe hit the little bell button so you're notified when new videos you go up at me on Instagram. It's Hadrian, just like it's spelled here. Check out my shop, it's Hadrian.com to see what I have for sale from with the Pink Ventures, where I actually might put this little baby up for sale. I'm not 100% sure. But today, we're gonna be cleaning this bad boy up. So, um, I actually purchased this on Mercari, and it was at a really, really, really pretty good deal. It was under $100. Um, this is an authentic um, Chanel wallet, and it is so gosh darn cute. Um, it does, as you can see, it has like these black marks all over it. So we're gonna attempt to clean this today. I don't exactly know exactly what we're gonna be using, but we're gonna have fun and try and do it. We're also going to add a little thing so that um, we can open and close this zipper. The zipper still works, just the zipper pull is no longer with us. <laughs> so um, let's get started. I'm going to use two things. First, um, we're gonna be using my Kiwi Quick Dry Sneaker Cleaner. I love this stuff so much. I talk about it in most of my cleaning videos and it's one of my go-tos for cleaning and they're really easy to get. They usually have them at Target, Walmart, and I believe they also have them at like CVS or Rite Aid. And they're like under 10 bucks and um, one of these bottles lasts for a while, especially if you're not cleaning stuff all the time like I am. So, um, I have this and these are easy to get so even though I know right now like we're in quarantine. And I don't recommend going out, you guys. Please stay safe. Only go out if it's absolutely necessary to go to the doctor or for food. But they do sell these at those places. And um, you can probably order these online as well. And then just a microfiber cloth. So this is what we're gonna be using. This is what we're gonna be trying to clean this with today. Um, and then if more problems arise along the way, then I will try some other things. But usually this is one of my go-tos and usually it's pretty good. So this is a foaming cleanser. Uh, also make sure <laughs> to, if you're gonna be using um, this on leather, especially like fancy stuff like this, um, make sure you kind of like read the bottle and see if you can use it on certain things. Like you wouldn't you, you wouldn't be able to use this on every type of leather, but I've used this on the sample leather before and caviar leather from Chanel is pretty good about um, what you can use on it normally. So, I'm gonna let it sit there for a second, and then just like in a light circular motion, this is a pretty strong cleaner, so sometimes color can rub off, but um, let's see if we can get these dark marks off of our Chanel. And you know what, it looks like it's kind of working. Those marks are getting Smaller. Oh, I'm excited. This might be like a lot easier than I thought it was. Yeah, a lot of that came out, like, it got a lot smaller, right? Okay. I think what we're gonna have to do right now is I think we're just gonna, I'm just gonna do this one side. See if we can get all of this off. Um, we're just gonna let it sit momentarily. Sometimes you need the cleaner to just like kind of soak in to the stain or the mark and it'll help lift it up, especially when you have a leather like this. This is, again, like I said, uh, this is the caviar leather from Chanel. Leathers like this that have, um, it has like almost like a finish on top instead of it being like a regular leather dye, these are usually easier to clean and sometimes you want the cleaner to just sit on top for a little bit. Okay, okay. The marks on the bottom are coming off a lot easier than on the top. But it is coming off. See, 
see how much cleaner this bottom part is now? Like in this section that I'm focusing on? Because this is the part where we started. We're just probably going to have to do this a couple of times. And um, hopefully get to be able to remove everything. So um, I'm just going to let it sit again. And also, what else you can use too? Is you can use a horse hair brush as well if you want it. And I have my Angelus one right here. You can really use any type, but I like this kind. And you just kind of rub it in a circular motion. And I just like to let it sit after I've done this to it. Maybe add a little more. Okay, even more is coming off. That's fantastic. You guys see that? Like, this is almost gone. This one still has a little bit of ways to go. But I'm just going to continue at it using this, I think. All right, you guys, we are pretty much done. I've cleaned this off a million times, almost all the marks. All the marks are pretty much gone on here, as well as the back. So now we're just going to address the little ring right here. Um, I just have this little metal ring and I'm just gonna put it through you can attach like a little um, piece of leather too if you wanted but this is like totally cool that totally works perfectly very excited the inside is actually in pretty good clean condition so I don't really want to mess with it too much plus this is a soft lambskin leather interior so there you go oh my gosh there you have it our complete little handbag rehab makeover for this vintage Chanel wallet. Hope you guys enjoyed it. If you guys did, please give the video a big thumbs up. Don't forget to say hi down below in the comments, especially if you guys are new. Welcome to the family. Um, and if you have any questions on this, comment down below and I will try to answer or send me a message on Instagram. 
Uh, and this should be in the shop. Um, it's Adrian.com if you guys are interested in it. I love you guys so much. And I'll see you guys in the next video tomorrow, bright and early at 7 a.m. Pacific Center time. Till then, bye!